Of course you want to play an improvised Spanish guitar. It's heck of fun. And it's hot. A lot of videos make it complicated and theoretical, but not this one. I'm going to show you a simple way to get started, and then I'll show you several ways to spice things up. You're never going to want to put down your guitar. Let's do this. So to start out, we need some building blocks to work with. To do that, we're going to use a scale. Now it's called the E Phrygian scale. Don't let that fancy name fool you. It's really a very easy scale and perfect for starting out. Let me show you the notes. First, quickly. I'm going to do it again, but slower, and I'll call out the fingering, which is also the same as the fret number. Open, one, three, open, two, three, open, two, three, open, two, open, one, three, open, one, and three. I know I went through those notes pretty quickly. Don't worry if you didn't get them right away. I'm going to give you a link in the description so you can work on it at your own pace. For now, I want to go on so you can see how it all comes together. A great way to practice the scale and to start getting the hang of improvising is to play the scale along with a backing track. I'm going to show you a demonstration, and I will give you a link to the backing track in the description below. Now, it's important that you don't try too hard to get it perfect, but just let it flow and see how the scale sounds with the backing track. In fact, it's perfectly fine to start with just a few notes and add on as you go along and experiment a little bit and see what sounds good to you. One, two, ready, start. enjoying this so far, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Hang in there. I've got a few really cool licks that kind of will spice things up coming up next. This lick I call baby chords. It's good to be fun. First of all, we're going to use two chord forms that you're probably familiar with. The first is D minor. And use any fingering that you're comfortable with. And then the regular D chord. Now, we're going to take that D minor form first and move it all the way up. So the first finger is on the eighth fret. Five, six, seven, eight. First string and make the form. Sounds like this. Then you're going to make the D form going down to the seventh fret, first finger. Two frets down, same D form. And then one fret down is the final. You're actually playing an A minor chord. A G, F, and E. So you can pick it any way you want. I'll use my fingers. It'll sound like this. There's no one right rhythm or even order that you play the notes. Play around with it and have fun. I'll show you what it sounds like with the backing track. for the pull-off lick. This is actually very easy, but sounds a lot harder than it is. You're going to use the same frets that we did with the baby chords and the first finger. So the first note is eight, then seven, five, and then four. But we're going to pull off each of the notes. It sounds like this. A little faster. So, pulling off with a first finger is fairly easy, especially with a few tips in mind. 
you're not pulling straight up, but a little bit to the side. So you're kind of picking the note with your left hand. And you want to do it fairly quickly so it doesn't mute the note. In a minute, I'm going to show you what it sounds like with the backing track. But I want you also to not get too rigid with doing exactly the way I am. You can try other notes and see how they sound. In fact, here's a note I think sounds good. Try adding two frets up from the eighth fret, the eleventh fret. fun as it is to improvise, it's great to also have something structured that you can play for other people. I've created a video with a Spanish guitar song right up here that's fun and easy. Go ahead and check it out. 